welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green. I am super happy about today's show. I don't know why I just am. It's going to be a great show. <laughs> well, let's hope so, right? Okay, so for everybody watching, listening, re-watching, re-listening, thank you so, so much for taking time out of your day to join us here. So let's get started. I'm going to get a little bit comfortable here and we are going to get started. I have so much I want to say. Oh my gosh, the past three nights I've not slept. No, oh, it's crazy. Um, I'm getting all these downloads of things that messages I'm supposed to be giving, but I can't cannot give them on this venue. I cannot. Um, but there's another venue that's going to be opening soon that I will be able to um, speak a little bit more freely on and be able to give the messages. And believe me, as the messages come in, I am recording them or writing them or doing whatever I can to not forget them. And so I can bring those messages to everyone. But this venue will take me down in a heartbeat. <laughs> I mean, boom, I will be I will be gone like the naturopath doctors in Florida that were healing cancer. <laughs> yep. And nobody will know, just like nobody knows about the naturopath doctors that were healing cancer in Florida that are gone now. <laughs> Oh, gosh, I think I'm so funny. I crack myself up. Okay, but that is true. That is true about the naturopath doctors. Okie dokie, here we go. Okay, first and foremost, thank you again for joining me. I'm truly grateful. I made some notes. These these are these are how I do my notes for the show. Uh, yep. They're, they're all over. They are just all over. They're attached to receipts. This is where I buy most of my clothes, by the way. <laughs> Not that anybody click cares, but it is. Okay. Alrighty now. First, first and foremost, I will never reach out to you if you want. I will never reach out to you to ask you if you want a reading that's just not me. Um, for, I don't. I don't have time. D trust me. Between me not getting sleep at night because of downloads and clearing people and 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 doing hypnosis sessions and doing readings, I'm not like scrolling Insta anything or uh, asking people or telling them they need a reading or a cl or a curses removed. If you, the only way to get an appointment is to reach out to me personally. And um, you can reach out to me at my website, tonig.info, tonyg.info. Okay, now let's get into this. We're going to start, like, I don't know which notes to do first. So I just picked one up and we're doing this one. The very first thing we are going to do is a healing or a clearing. And this clearing is going to start the show off. And we're going to do a clearing on stress. Um, there's just a hell of a lot going on right now. So let's, um, clear for stress. That's the first one. We'll be doing clearings or healings throughout the whole show. Um, so here we go. We have stress. We're going to clear that all stress and causes of stress have been cleared from us. Whoo. No. Okay. So let's start there. The next one we're going to do is worry. And I'm going to do that in a few seconds. I want the stress to kind of kick in while we're waiting for the, the, the stress to start clearing away. The next thing I want to say is um, um, it, at this time in the world, and, and I do have listeners and watchers from around, I mean, Egypt to um, Australia, to all, just all over the world, I have people watching and listening to my show. And thank you for that, by the way. And at this time in the world, it's really important, no matter where you are or how you feel about anything in this world, it, call in angels. Now, it might sound really simple and people might say, well, we can't, we can't 
uh, demand, but we can we can maybe not use the word demand, but we can call in. Um, we can call in angels. We can. I don't want to use the word invoke because that will cause. Um, certain feelings in people, but we can request that angels come in and they protect our home and they protect, um, they surround our homes and they surround our family. And more importantly, that they surround this world at this time and that um, they bring in um, peace and love. There are also angels of justice. So we can call in angels of justice to bring justice to situations. Now, when I'm doing something like that, I don't presume to know who's right or wrong in any situation because there are a lot of things we don't see. So if I'm calling in, let's just say angels of justice for a situation, I'm not saying, you know, go to this and make it just. Um, what I'm saying is angels of justice come in and please work for the good of all. Um, and bring peace to the good of all, however that looks or sounds for you. I should not put this down. I'll lose my place. Let's try to prop it up. Okay. And we have, of course, guardian angels that we know about. So definitely call them in. Ask them to help at this time. It's really important. The biggest thing I would be asking for right now is that the truth be revealed. Now, the truth is a bitter, 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 bitter pill to swallow. And we think we're getting the truth. And so we're fighting and we're manifesting on behalf of certain things. And what we don't realize is we're not getting the truth. So what we're praying for and manifesting for might not be on the side that we would normally be on. And again, without being too overtly stating things, um, I, I'm just going to say, ask for the truth to come out in, in everything and be, be ready for it when you see it. Be ready because... You know, that we think we want the truth. And then when we get it, we're like, holy moly, <laughs> holy moly. Um, so, okay. So, okay. That, and then we're going to start uh, doing a clearing on worry right now. So I know a lot of us, are, we, we have stress. And we're worried and I am going to start doing a clearing on worry right now. So we are worried. I get a yes. So let's start clearing that so that some of that stress and that worry can go and we won't be so stressed and so worried moving forward. Okay. So if you are on YouTube, Please say hello in the live chat. I would love to say hello back. Uh, I think it's Moody, Molly or Moody. Uh, whom, who, wh I'm sorry if I'm not saying your name right. I've, I've often said my vision isn't the best and the print is like that big. So if I want to say your name, I'm going to have to lean really far into the camera and nobody should see that much of me. Um, Mimi, hello, everybody. Thank Mimi. She's going through my past shows and my current shows. And she is um, time stamping the clearings. So if you just want to watch a show and go straight to the clearing and the healing, you can look at the timestamp and just go to that point in the show. So thank you, Mimi. You are adorable. I just love you so much. Okay, I'm going to say that that person's name is, I don't know. <laughs> Are you guys laughing yet at how bad? Mandy, it's not Moody, it's Mandy. That makes so much more sense too. Mandy, thank you for joining us here today. <laughs> okay, <laughs> anybody else? 
<laughs> that wants to say hello. Hopefully I'll get your name right. <laughs> Anybody else that wants to say hello? Anybody else that wants to suggest a clearing? Go right ahead. I'm going to be taking callers. Um, if you want to call in with a question, the number is 845-277-9131. Uh, you can call in. I'll be happy to take any questions at all. Um, please have one exact question ready and available for me or one connection to a loved one on the other side. Um, and when you ask for someone on the other side, please say um, their name and their relationship to you. And if there's a specific conversation or question that you have for them, also give that at the same time. And I'm happy to help. Um, so, so every once in a while, I get messages from from people um, when I'm up at night getting downloads. And this song has not left my head. I know in part this song is for me. But I know it's also for for some listeners because it won't leave my head. And usually when they give me a song for me, it's like once I get it and I'm like, yep, I got it. Moving on. Got it. I I understand why you're sending me this song. Um, they they take the song away. But this one is been going since my show on Monday. That song. And I'm sorry I'm singing. Everybody, please forgive me. Pick yourself up and start again. And pick yourself up and start. Okay. If at first you don't succeed, you whether it be in a work situation, a business situation, in a um, relationship situation, a situationship situation, pick yourself up and start again. Um, that is really, 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 they, uh, they, they just will not stop playing that song. And then the other song, which makes me laugh, and I don't really even know all the words to this song is, um, I think it, it's the main verse though. And it's on the same line. It says, last night I took a ill, but today I bounce back. I think I'm so cool when I do that. <laughs> I, I think I'm so cool when I, when I, when I, when I try to sing rap. <laughs> I'm not, I know it's okay. <laughs> um, but again, like if, if something fell apart yesterday, get up today and hit the streets running. Um, that's just one thing. And there's so much in our life and, and so many opportunities. And I'm supposed to be saying for somebody who's listening, whether you're watching on a streaming channel like Roku or Rude Rangers TV or WSCS or on YouTube or listening any place, if if you're thinking of starting a business, start now. So slow and grow. Start slow and grow that business. Um, and and I personally believe everybody has a million dollar idea inside of them, a, a business inside of them. I believe we were born to to be in control of our destiny. I believe we were born to um, to create and co-create. When people ask me, what, what, what's, what's the purpose? What, what's my purpose? I always say love. Love is the first purpose. And then they say, well, why am I here? To create and co-create whatever it is that you want in this world. And if that changes, it changes. And my nose is running and this is going to be awkward because my tissue are way over there. And I apologize. Um, I'm looking around for a tissue. Um, so co-create, create and co-create, create and co-create. Co and we can change our minds as many times and as many careers as we want to. But the, the idea here is to create and co-create. We're creating and co-creating. We co-create with other people here. We co-create with angels and God and all of them above. And we 100% we are in charge of our destiny, where we're going, what we're supposed to be doing here. And it is supposed to be what we want. 
It is supposed to be what we want. Okay, okay, okay. One of the messages they gave me last night, and I wasn't going to say this, but apparently they're not going to let me take a caller until I say this. And callers, please hold on. I am going to get to you, and I'm going to get to as many callers as possible. The message that they want me to give that that is, it's just a little more so. It's like a chocolate chip. It's like a, yeah, a chocolate chip off of a cookie. It's just a little more so. It's one chocolate chip. I believe, in, and think about this, in schools from kindergarten on, they should be teaching um, finance, law, psychology. Oh, gosh, I'm going to, I'm not, I'm not, gosh, what are the other two? There's two more. World economics and there's one more, and I'm sorry that I cannot, re when I remember it, I will say it. Um, and they should be teaching that through, all the way through the, the, the K through 12. And if they did that, wouldn't our world be much healthier, functional, more functional and stable? If they taught law, psychology, finance, world economics from K through 12, what would our children look like? I'll wait. Do, 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 do. Why are they not? Why are they not teaching that? Why are they not teaching just one of those at any point? to our children. Okay, I feel people waking up. I feel people waking up. Now there's a lot more to go with that. There's a whole book, but I'm not gonna do that today and I'm not gonna do a whole book. We're gonna take callers. I'm so excited for the callers. Hey, Fawn, thank you for joining us. Okay, here we go. First caller, 917. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, Tony. Hey, hi. What's your name? Uh, my name is Tim, calling from New York. How are you doing today? I am good, Tim. Tim, 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 Tim. <laughs> from New York. <laughs> <laughs> so I just had a question. Uh, Hit me with it. Working with angels, I've been trying to work with uh, the ascended master spectrum name uh, to manifest some new things. Where I just call him in and then do my little meditation and uh, visualize some things I would like to happen and then thank him for it. Uh, I just started this the last couple of days. Uh, do you see anything on the horizon for me, or am I, I, I? It's one of those things where I'm like, am I doing it correctly? I just, yeah. you know, yeah, pushing him. Uh, yeah, thank you. Oh my gosh, Tim, thank you so much because like my head is being like bombarded with things right now that I've been wanting to say on the show, but I always forget to say on the show. Um, oh gosh, my nose. I'm so sorry, everybody. Um. And one of those things that I'm hearing is, remember, everything is inside of us already. Um, we don't, things don't come to us from outside of us. It's, it's inside of us. And once we have, okay, so I'm going to share with everybody a visualization that the angels shared with me. And it was about money. And here we go. Mimi asked for an abundance clearing. So we're going to do a quick abundance clearing while I'm answering Tim's question and hopefully giving everybody a really good morsel of a meditation they can take with them. Uh, we, we are receiving money. I get a no. Let's clear that. We are comfortable receiving money. I get a no. Let's clear that. And the song, you know, money for nothing and my chicks for free is coming to me. And there's so many of us. And when I used to teach manifestation, I used to say, if somebody, if somebody gave you money, would you take it? 
Like if somebody gives you a, a Tim, let I'm going to use you right now. Tim, are you ready to be used by me? <laughs> okay. So Tim, if somebody came up to you with a yeah. suit, suitcase and gave you $10,000, would you accept it? Uh, I would have questions before I accept it. Uh, exactly. I guess, yeah. Exactly. So we all ask for this money to come to us, right? I'm just using money. It can be, it can be any, anything at all. Hey, Camille, love you. Um, it can be anything at all. It can be like a certain job, but we think we have to know. Hey, Patrick, uh, we think we have to have. Okay, so let's just stick with money. Okay, and you guys just work in whatever area of your life you feel is relevant for it, whether it be work or relationship. So if somebody walks up to you, anybody listening, watching with a suitcase with $10,000 and hands it to you and, and you have questions. So then my next thing is, what if you've been praying for $10,000 and this, this person walks up to you and says, here, this is a gift from God and hands it to you. Then what do you do, Tim? Uh, then I take it. Okay, good for you, because a lot of people wouldn't. They would think there's strings attached. What do I do? But we're all asking for things. And how do we get those things? How do we get to that place where we are, I'm going to use the word blindly accepting it, right? How do we get to that place where we are blindly accepting what we ask for, because we want, again, I'm hearing this on money for nothing and our chicks for free. So how do we get to that place where we're blindly accepting money for nothing? Because most of us are trying to manifest money for nothing, like money just coming to us and large amounts of money coming to us so that we can get ahead, so that we can save, so that we can be in this place. But then we think it has to come from this or that or the other thing. Now, here's the the meditation that I was shown. Um, and I'm going to share it with everybody. So I was I, 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 I was in this meditation and um, they showed me like inside of me in in my stomach area, probably. I don't know why there, but it can be in your head area, wherever it shows up for you when you do this. But I was just allowing them to come through with whatever they wanted to come through with. And what they showed me is like a cash register in my stomach, which is pretty funny in and of itself. Like I'm like, huh, why is the cash register in my stomach? Well, because it was. Um, and then and the cash register being in my stomach, they were like, they were just asking me questions. They said, okay, so what would you like? And I just jokingly set an amount and then they hit the, like it was kind of more of an old school cash register. They just like hit the button, opened it and money just started flying out to me. And it flew like obviously out to me, but the cash register was inside of me. So the money is filling me up. So then I, it hit me in that moment. It just hit me. Oh, yeah, because we have to believe it's ours already. We have to believe it's in us already that 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 this doesn't everything doesn't come from outside of us. Everything first starts inside of us. We it, it, it's it's already here. And then because we have that belief, it's created and, and put in our lap. OK, so. If we all do that, if we all and, and start with something small, OK, start with something small and and work your way up. And and Tim, you're doing a great do job of manifesting. And they're say, saying also use Metatron, Archangel Metatron, um, along with St. Germain. Um, Archangel Metatron, for some reason for you, is the angel that you're supposed to be working with and creating and co-creating with to bring some of the things that you want to create and and look up archangel metatron and see what that angel is in charge of okay so when you do your meditations folks 
uh, throw that little cash register or relationship in. But now here's where it gets tricky because we ask, well, how is that going to happen? Right. And then we don't think that it can just pop and happen. And trust me, I've had so many major manifestations happen. And I, I'm I'm not going to go through them all again on this show, but I'm going to tell you, if you believe, if you can just visualize it, whether you visualize the cash register inside your stomach or the um, the the vehicle while you're falling asleep or whatever it is, it will happen. Okay, it will. It, it trust me, that's the way the universe works. That is 1 million percent the way the universe works. Now, once you've put it out there, just get busy doing whatever it is you love, because the higher your frequency, the higher your vibration, the higher your energy. And let me take those woo woo words out of it. The happier you are. The freaking happier you are, the faster your manifestations come to you. Because you're now leveling up and joining that level of happiness where your things that you want are. Dun, 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 dun. I feel more people waking up. Yay. Okay. So if we take the words like frequency and energy because we're like, oh, 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 oh well, how do I raise my frequency? That sounds so like I don't, I, I don't even know what a frequency is. Like, how do I get it up there? It's just being freaking happy, genuinely happy. Like, if eating cake, if eating chocolate, death by chocolate cake makes you happy, don't eat a whole freaking cake, but have a bite of it. Like, do what makes you happy, not in a sociopathic, hurting people way, because your happiness should not be a result of what other uh, any other person your happiness your true 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 don't make me sing folks <laughs> happiness <laughs> comes from inside of you doing the things you love okay so for example if you love wearing certain things because they make you feel good who gives a happy hoo-hoo what anybody else thinks about those things. If you want to wear a bikini around your house in the middle of December, because first of all, it will help you keep your body in check. But second of all, it makes you happy, then do it. Okay, just do it. Do what makes you happy. And again, true happiness does not come from what you do as a result of something that you've done with or to someone else. True happiness is something that is inside of you. Okay, it's it's something that you do for you that makes you happy. And it never has a consequence to another person. Okay, having said that, I can't even remember where I started this. I'm so sorry, Tim. <laughs> and, and Tim is like, all I want to know is, am I going to get what I want? <laughs> yes, Tim, you are. He's like, just tell me, when am I getting what I want? Um, <laughs> and I'm using you as this huge example for everybody listening and watching. And oh, Tim, I'm so sorry. We've gone down the yellow brick road and we're almost to Oz. And the reason they're saying Oz is because it was really just a man behind a curtain and you have the power. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, for real, okay. for real. I am so channeling right now, folks. <laughs> okay. There is nothing outside of okay. you, Tim or anybody else listening or watching that is in control of stopping, starting, or bringing you what you want. It's all inside of you. It's all what you believe. What you think you can create, you can create. And once you get on that creative venture, everything that, that opens another one and, and they're singing like that song and another one and another one and another one.